What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to part 11 of our Black Myth Wukong Platinum walkthrough. As always I am your friend Galactus and we are starting right from where we left off in chapter 6. Before we move any further I am going to go back and get at least one trophy and a couple of stuff for you that we don't actually have right now. So first things first, travel to Flaming Mountains and I think we need to go to Valley Entrance. Yep, the horse NPC is there. So Valley Entrance. So we are at the Valley Entrance. Now there are two things we need to do here. The first one is that we need uh, we need to talk to the horse entity and finish his quest. And the other one is that we need to get the seat for fire date. Uh, I'll show you just now what we are doing. We need a total of 15 seats which I believe will get us a trophy and maybe an, a drink or a soak. Hey, this guy always wants me. For some reason, he is super effective against me. Still on fire? Uh, no longer on fire, thank god. Kill this guy. Oh no, he fell down. Are you coming up? Coming up or what? Oh, fall down. For all I care. You get up. These guys are doing a ton of fire damage to me still. Come here you. There you go. Die, Roti, die. Okay. Alright, first things first, when you get down here, you kill this guy and you see that tree, you pick up a fire date from here. So this is one fire date and there is another here you can pick up I believe. This is a little bit luck based, you will have to farm this. See I can rest in peace now our horse and this. Are you actually going to kill me or what? Huh? Oh, you... Right. Nice try, bro. There, there he goes. Now you don't... I'm not burning up on the lava, thankfully. Gather here, another fire date. So you see, we are getting fire dates. What we actually need is the fire date seed. This is random, you'll have to just come around, come here, run around and keep picking these things up again and again and oh, there's a chest I left unopened, how silly of me. A good thing we came back here for that. So let me open the chest first and then we can finish this quest and get a trophy. Oh, fine gold thread, always nice to have. Now pull forcefully. Too long. It's yours now. My journey of life. A fleeting dream. We got the urge unfulfilled trophy and the dark thunder transformation. Now we can transform into horse square. And that is another portrait update for you. So you see, we picked up two fire dates, as I was saying. What you need to do is you just need to run around this area, go rest up or maybe go do something else then come back here because these fire dates don't respawn very quickly when you rest up. I think you have to travel to another area or maybe give it like 15-20 minutes or something for this to work for you. So as I said, this can go well or not so well for you depending on how lucky or unlucky you are. 
Okay, if someone else coming to hit, die by my hand, you are coming to die by my hand. So die by my hand, bro. I hope I get fire fire seed this time. Are another fire deck. Let me go. I am just going to show it to you twice. Then I am going to grind it out myself and show you the footage when I do get the fire date seed. Let me go rest up. Okay, so I went back for another run, but unfortunately the plants have not respawned, so I think I'll come back to them in a bit. Now I'm going to show you one thing, that another thing that important thing that it's not basically a trophy related, but it is that I have not been doing it. I've been telling you how to do it, what to do, but I have not been doing it every time. So what you need to do is when you uh, every time you start a chapter, go to your Rui, Rui scroll and go to the village because all your NPCs are there. If they can sell you, they are usually going to sell stuff and all whatnot, which will come in handy to you for uh, uh, the trophies, the drinks, the soaks, everything that you are getting. So always come to this guy. He gives you some medicines, which are actually good medicines. They come in handy. You always request medicine from him. But be wiser than relying so he gives out medicines every 30 minutes or maybe one hour, I'm not sure. Then go to buy and you can obviously buy stuff from him right now. The main thing you need to buy from him, uh, resurrection upon that. Yeah, I should buy this. I should buy both of these actually. So, he, he sells formulas as well. I have already brought all the formulas from him, but if you have not, you should. Then talk to this guy, Shen Monkey. He usually sells Awaken Wine Worms and Luija Fragrant Wine at the end of every chapter. Right now he is selling a multi glaze cord, which we will buy. It will help us for a Brewer's Bounty Trophy. And he's selling other stuff like Flower Prime, which is a good soap, I believe. Let me brew this. I think, yeah. Removes all four vein states. Good. I'm shocked or anything. This will give me. And here, come to this guy and harvest ingredients. All the ingredients. You can also deliver all the seeds to him. Here you see the option to deliver seed. No available seeds for me. But you can harvest everything. Right now, as you can see, we have a total of 13 seeds. We need 15. So that is what I've shown you so far also over here this is a yin tiger I've shown you that we have challenged him we beat him he gives us an extra curious uh, spot yeah a curious slot sorry a curious slot and you can upgrade your armor with this guy let me see I think I can upgrade my armor which I have equipped this is upgraded to the highest tier this is not this can be so now I just need two celestial ribbon for one upgrade and this is also pretty for the higher tier. You can challenge him every time but challenging him now does not give us any result or any anything useful. You can just do it for the fun of it. I am not in the mood to kill him for the fun of it. So with that said, now I am going to go pick up my amazing stuff. So from here go to the flaming mountains and go to the emerald hold actually. Just run along to the throne. There's a drink I believe I missed here. I don't know how I missed it. Like I think I went around the throne and picked up everything, but maybe I did not pick up everything. Yeah, this glowing drink. I forgot to pick it up. Uh, silly me. So pick this up. And this is the Lung Balm drink. I don't know what this does. I will have to go back to the shrine to check it. But for now, I am going to show you how to get another seed. Which is the golden lotus seed. Oh, sorry. I ran ahead. I was supposed to run. Turn to my left. I did not. I am going to do that now. So, I've traveled to Turtle Island uh, Shrine, uh, it's in Chapter 3 only. And while this 
I don't know the drop rate actually for this game from what I've heard and from what I've seen online is bad. It's pretty, pretty, pretty damn bad. The RNG is like really not in your favor guys. But here I'm going to show you a path and this path actually has quite a few worms. So maybe killing them will get us something. There is one, there is one over there, as you guys can see. Oh yeah, everyone is going to freeze me now, huh? Are you done? Thank you. Another golden lotus? Come on, give me a golden lotus seed, bro. And go over here for one more guy on the right here. Nothing again and then just circle around for two more guys on the left and also have your incense trail talisman equipped <coughs> equipped in your slots so that you can quickly fast travel back and this has turned out to be much of an issue another golden lotus we got for sure and the final one I think is hiding behind the rock in front of us. This one, this one, this one. Final guy is hiding behind this one. There he is. Drop me a seat, bro. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this guy tried to get... I mean, he wanted to try his luck, we were like, why not try your luck, bro? There you see, insane trail talisman, quickly travel back, don't need to run back. Saves a little bit of time, with the, given the loading screen. Don't think it makes much of a difference, but yeah, this is a big area, so it does make some difference. Just keep running, don't need to engage with the other enemies. I keep... I'd say that you don't need to, but then I end up engaging with other enemies, but do as I say, not as I do. Oh man, he hit me on his rebound. Oh, there you go, Golden Lotus Seed, finally. Amazing. So happy, so happy to have found those. Now, the fire dead seeds are still remaining. Let's go and check if they have respawned. I should have used my instant talisman, no? Silly me, I got excited. I'm allowed to be excited. I got just one seat remaining. Where are you, Shiny? Honestly, where are you, Shiny? You know what? I don't have time for this. Okay, folks, so now we have the golden lotus seed. That means we can happily go and farm the. Now what do you say? Fire dead seeds. Well, so I have actually gone ahead and checked out this furnace valley and found nothing. And unfortunately on these fire dates there is a 30 minute respawn timer. You can actually save your, uh, like save your game, back up your save and you know, keep, uh, what do you say? Ex keep uh, speeding up your clock every 30 minutes. Keep uh, like advancing the time by 30 minutes and keep doing this again and again if you want. But while we have 30 minutes, I'm not going to use the all of 30 minutes to show you stuff we have missed. We are going to get some other stuff that we have actually missed. So for now, travel to the yellow wind ridge and go to the squall hideout. Okay, so squall hideout, we need to go to this, uh, what do you say, man in stone. And there's something we need to buy from him. I did not have enough will at that time and then I never returned to this guy, so I forgot about it. Also, right here, I've already picked this up. This is a ginseng plant. Pick up all the ginseng plants. There are a lot of ginseng plants all over the map, all over the game actually. Pick them up. One of them will give you the steel ginseng soap. Maybe you already have it. Just check. Maybe you don't. This is the iron pellet we need to buy. So just buy it. And this gold rich beast he's selling. We can buy it, but I would suggest not buying it because you sell it for 6400 and he's selling it for 1800. So it's taking double the price. And you can only sell it. There is no other use for this gold rich beast. 
as for now. Maybe there is something in the future, maybe someone else will find out about it and I'll let you know. But right now, it's useless. So, okay, that done. Now we need to go to the tiger uh, sorry to the tiger temple yeah temple entrance so go ahead to the tiger entrance pick this up maybe this is steel ginseng nope just eat ginseng with my luck it is always going to be a ginseng it's never going to be steel ginseng some of these may the drop rate may improve in new game plus so I might go ahead and try there. I wanted to get all the trophies possible in one run. Uh, it does not seem possible. Okay. Come all the way over here. There are enemies you can fight. There is a pill here that I have already gotten. We don't need to fight these guys because these are not going to give us any suitable amount of will or experience at this point. Kill these guys. We'll just take a couple of hits. They will not take a couple of hits. More than a couple of hits, will they? Okay, now that they are all dead, we move on. Okay, so make sure you have built up some staff charges at this point. Because that, you see right there, that is the pill. We need to get to it, but below this, if you fall down, it's a slide. You cannot do anything about it. So just jump here and do a strong attack. made it finally so you saw some critical stupid stuff I did but yeah this is your tiger relic drink and soak that we had missed you have to jump and do a heavy attack like just X and triangle X and triangle is what you're looking for this X and triangle this is it but for some reason it was not working for me so I just thought I'll keep jumping till I can make it and we made it we need to go get another pill that is again from the temple entrance I think I missed a chest here I'm not sure let's check it out this time we are not going to drop down instead we are going to go straight I don't know how I missed it, but it looks like I did. Ah, right here. A oh, nice arch from the side. Okay, fill this archer. More archers there? No. This box! I missed this box. How silly of me. This is your copper pill. I am so stupid of for having missed that. I hope you guys did not during the playthrough, but well, if you did, now you have missed as well. Whew, shine right here. And let me see where we have to go. Now we travel to the snow hill path and mirror mirror. Now this thing, very annoying, is actually at the end of the lake. I did come here, I did travel around the lake, but once I got to the end, I was like, maybe there's nothing. I should have explored more, it seems. So go to the back right corner of the lake. Maybe this is the bent tree we are looking for if we can climb it. No, we cannot climb it. So we go here and here. This corner. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, people. This went straight, seems. See, totally at the end of the lake. We're getting there, you must be able to make out the ventry yourself now. So annoying when some of those collectibles very annoying. What's the point of leaving something here with no bosses, no nothing? Why would anyone even bother to come here? So here, there's a chest, open it and you will get something good, I suppose. Stranded Lung's Whisker. Now just teleport back. All right, now from here we go to Valley of Lost Blooms. Okay, people, now we're looking for Undying Vine and this one actually drops from three enemies. There are a total of two or three three enemies in this map, I believe. One's right over here, I think. He does not respawn. That's bad. You should respawn. Anyway, he did not respawn, so this enemy over here. See this guy? We have to farm these guys. He gave us nothing. And now you can just go through this area, there will be some arrow sniper shooting at you. Okay, they might poison you. And they definitely might poison you. And this guy. And he also did not drop it. I think you can just farm this enemy, go to the shrine and come back here and farm him. Shrine's right over here. You don't even need to use the talisman for this one because I think running will be faster. I'm gonna farm him a couple of times, see if that works. There you go, Undying Vine. Another drinks and soak stuff. Awesome. Fourth or fifth try, but I finally got it. I am so happy. Ah, let's go rest up. Maybe try Furnace Valley again. Yeah, let's try Furnace Valley again. Okay, Furnace Valley. And there are apparently two things we can do in Furnace Valley while we are grinding actually. One of them is not kill these guys, but yeah, definitely get them out of the way. Is to kill the big guys, the big rock guys. You can farm them for another soak. So let me kill this guy. If I don't get him here, I know do know a good spot where we can farm this guy. At least one of them. Oh, there you go, Flame Mediator. Man, my luck is working well. <laughs> Just when I talked about it. So that is another drink and soak for you folks. And after that, now let's hopefully get the fire seeds, fire dead seeds as well. So drop down from here, I don't want to aggravate the shield enemy, he can be a nuisance. Just drop down from here. Fight these guys, don't fight these guys, does not actually make a difference. But maybe we get healed up.
Come on, fire dead seed. Come on. Come to daddy. Fire dead. Come on. Come on. I got four tries left. Be optimistic. Don't make me a pessimist. Hey, we got the fire dead seed finally, people. And the seeds to show trophy. Whew. This one was a bad grind. A bad, bad, bad grind. But teleport out. Okay, now that we have the fire date seeds, we can actually get one more soak. So travel, uh, sorry, not rest. I got excited there. Travel to the ruby scroll. So back at the village entrance, we come here and this guy will give us another soak or curio, I think. A good one, I believe. Deliver seeds to him. Every plant in the world is now rooted in my heart. You see, we got my graceful orchard. And we can harvest oh, all the ingredients. Perhaps it's for the best. Yeah, go ahead. I can't spend all day. So that's it, folks. I think I've shown you all the curios and everything. Just one thing remaining. Let me show it to you as well. We travel. Oh, sorry. We travel to the Court of Illumination in Chapter 4. From here we are going to run to the point where we fought Venom Daoist. We don't welcome evil here. Oh, but they think I am evil. I am a god idiot. The second encounter we had with Venom Dao is to remember, we need to go there. Dodge him and run away. Come up here, come up here, turn around here and go all the way down. Now here I did look around the statues but I did not find it. I think this one is around some statues. Again these are small boxes, I tend to miss them, I am sorry. But we will get them, as I said. Gonna get you everything. So with this done, I think we can, yeah, see this one. I missed this. How silly of me. But here you, oh, come on, now get it. There you go. We get preservation all. And with that said, anything else we get? It looks like that's all we get. And we travel back. Alright, Thunderclap Temple. Now there is one, this enemy right here. We need to kill him. We farm him for this uh, particular curio. And then there is another curio behind him. Before I engage him, just make sure you have equipped this curio, the golden car. You must have it if you have been following the walkthrough. So make sure you have it and then let's kick his butt. This guy is pretty aggressive as you can see and you're not supposed to use magic like the drop rate is better if you don't use magic to kill him. Oh man I can kick your butt so easily but just because I'm Supposed to do my light attack combo, huh? There you go. Did not get anything from him, but this is the one you have to farm. I will show you when I get the trophy, if that, like get the curio, if that is what works better. This guy is totally killed. 
Okay, tiny piece of gold, refined iron shield, nope, nothing for me. Go up here, kill this. Now oh, these guys will keep shooting at me. And these guys are annoying when they start hitting me. Actually... Okay, now that he's dead... I think there's a Kyuru I missed picking up on my way over here. Alright, let me just go and get it. I think I did not enter this particular temple. Let me go and enter it after I kill this guy. They are taking good damage from me now that I've leveled up. Yep, taking decent damage from me now that I've... Oh, there's another of that guy there. Oh, you did not die, bro? Die, bro. This guy. Oh, yep, there you go, people. Beast Buddha. Curio dropped. Awesome. And we get a mind core from him as well. That is very awesome. And this is what I forgot to pick up. Oh, that guy's right here trying to kick my butt. Hang on a second. This is the test I forgot to open. Oh, die already, bro. Tired of you. And one more curio over here. Thunderstone. So see, two curios we got right there. I think golden, golden carp helped a lot. So that's two more curios for you. Now what we need to do is we need to travel to the forest of Velocity Shrine. So there you see people, two curios we get, great job, I think golden card work fine. Now we need to travel to the forest of velocity shrine, uh, forest of felicity sorry. Alright this one is a tiny bit tricky because you have to run a bit to get to this guy. So just keep moving, just kick his butt. Uh, keep moving here. Oh, sorry. Not here. I think we're supposed to go here. Yeah. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Ignore these guys. They will just run away when you get to them. And right through here. You fight some enemies here, these, some of these people will try to attack you. Ignore them, just keep running. Oh, wait. oh shit, there's a bat here. He said, now up there you see those two wolf guardians, they are going to fall down. Your job is to get them. These are the two people who drop them. There are other wolf guardians around this level. But I am not remembering their position very well. So, I need one of you to die. So that the other you can drop his stuff for. 
done. Are you done? So these two bulls guys sadly did not work out for me. So I'm just going to take my talisman and I'll show you when I get it. So we got the Buddha Bronze Pendant, now we can go back. Alright, we are back folks. Finally, it took a long grind, but we have collected everything possible, curio-wise, soaks-wise, and pills-wise, everything. We still have uh, three curios left. We have gotten all the soaks so far. So the curios we have left are, let me show you. One is the one we missed uh, before killing Captain Voice Voice in the Pagoda Realm. You go in the new, yeah, in the Pagoda realm, you have to find it. It is outside the wheel, I believe, or Mani Wheel Shrine, you can travel to that. Other one, we don't have right now, is in Yellow Wind Ridge. It is in the Secret Kingdom of Sahai. Here, you can go to Sandgate Pass or Sandgate Bound and run around and you have to keep picking up the licorice plants. They, as I said, respawn every 30 minutes or so. So, you have to keep picking them up. They are what can drop that and the other one again yellow wind ridge and the near the square square hideout here in this area you can run around the whole area and there are some ginseng plants you have to pick them one of them will with your luck whatever your luck being turn out to be a curio that said now i go back to mount huago and continue on our main story path and we are back at mount huago now we are just gonna keep continuing on with the story path. I think we are going to enter a boss fight right away. Uh, the curios and all I've missed, they are plant drops. So I am just gonna keep returning to them every 30 minutes. I'll let you know when I get them, if I get them. Or I'll just get them in New Game Plus. <laughs> uh, bad luck. It's a dead end. Nasty slanderer! I let you be, and now you have the gall to show up! If you come at me now, this day will be your last! Okay, so Supreme Chancellor, Big Booty, we are gonna use our power-ups to kill him. He has a ton of health, by the way.
Come on, monkeys. Kill him. Oh, nice transformation. Ah, oh. nice fight. Turn off and this I had, man. Got a cloud. <laughs> Fortune's gift it is. It's Wukong's somersault cloud. <laughs> I was swinging my brain out to fetch you, but this savvy one's already on it. <laughs> it must have been hidden here amongst the mist until it sensed the relics on you. Thanks to them, it recalled its master and saved your skin. Now that it answers to your call, why not make good use of it? Ah, your mortal body is too heavy for me in my wind form. <laughs> All these henchmen of the court, what draws them to this mountain? Let's find out! And we are at Mount Wago. I think we get a trophy. Yep, summer salt cloud. Once cover a hundred thousand miles. Nice. All right, folks. So this area, technically, as from as far as I know, is just a big boss rush. Like. There are bosses all around this area and we have to get to all of them. I think I see someone right there and there may be someone down there. So get on your cloud and go down. I think if we reach this water we'll fight someone. Yup. Oh man, the damage! He doesn't have a lot of health though.
we went underwater? Crap, that's it. That's not good. I wanted to hit him when he was... Oh! That is a big tail. That is another big tail. Oh, that is another big tail. What is this guy? The Kraken? You die already. Stop freaking <laughs> munching. Okay, die now. There you go. Gives us a water ward orb and some fine gold thread. Awesome. And mind force as well. Not bad, not bad. I don't think there's anything to pick up here, particularly like treasure wise or anything wise. So that is another portrait update. Also we have found all the lesser yogai portraits still now people. So that is something you guys should not have to worry about. Now let me look. This was one boss. There should be one. Yeah, there should be one Now this entire thing looks like a boss arena so I don't know what to say and what to do. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, call me Nimbus. Man. Hey, yeah, see someone over there. Let's get this guy, whatever he is. He's a frog it seems. Do I talk to him or what? Do I hit him? Oh, son of son. Okay, he trained himself with that. Damn it out. I am out of May now. It okay. Kill him! Oh man, they could not kill him. Well, now we will. Die, son of son. Oh, 
Oh, he fell right on top of me. Fine gold thread. Nice. Okay, all out of mana. Gonna have to rest up. So we go to inventory and we use our health. Hmm. Okay, rested up. Let's move on. This is the one problem in this level. Like unless and unless I find another shrine, I guess. Okay, we have to go over here. Keep be on the lookout for anything that looks weird. You know? Like, does this look weird? No. That does look weird. Oh, grasshopper. Okay, that is a fangtail general. We'll fight him or what? What am I supposed to do with this grasshopper? Just vanish? I have to land on top of the grasshopper. Okay, clutch this. Oh, sorry, hold it. Okay, so to hold it. Ah, now I get it. I think we need to be on top of him for a while. Where did he fly off to? Anyone see the grasshopper? There he is. I am coming, grasshopper. I am coming. I am coming. Oh crap, he's gonna fly again. Oh, there's a new shrine. Lovely, I can rest up. I know what's slow. I think if I go ahead, I can do another boss fight. Let's do that first. Then we'll try to... Try to on the... Yep. Okay, we have a gold armored rhino now. It's going to be tough it seems.
Oh, nice dodge. Oh, nice dodge. Oi! Doing a lot of damage here. Enough out of your dino. You broke it on now. Tell me what armor you have, bro. Oh, he grew his horn back. Fantastic. This rhino moves around so much and still getting pissed off now. See, totally getting pissed off for this guy. Surprises, just like me. He had his way to linger on, and his belongings too. They're set on killing those mongrels of a court. But we've got to snatch them first, or these scum will take them. I'll go find the other ones. Keep up with me. Okay, so Wukong armor. We kill these people for four pieces of Wukong armor. Awesome. Yee, splendid, splendid. <laughs> okay, now that we have the Wukong armor, let's go rest up and then look for that grasshopper again. There is electricity crackling there. I believe there is something over there as well. First resting up is important. No map is a bit of a problem. This is the one place where. Hey, here he is, Rasapur. Hang on. I have preservation of guns, defense, and in water. No. 
This is maximum health may enhance stamina. Okay, that it is important. And I need back scratcher as well. It seems under flame seal back. I will pick up Thunder Flame Seal again and because we need a lot of stamina for this guy people. Maximum stamina for a long duration. So we have maximum stamina for more and more duration. Oh, come on, 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 they come. And now we just have to hold on to this guy. He's gonna run. We got to held. See, this is training our stamina. You need a lot of stamina to beat this guy. Stay on him. Stay on him. What happened there? What really did happen there, honestly? Where is the grasshopper? I can hear him. Oh, my stamina is gonna wear off. Okay, this is where we were. So oh, maybe we'll catch the grasshopper later. I'm looking around for him, I don't see him hopping anywhere. Let's keep moving in the other area then. This is where we came from, this is where we fought the water idiot. There is my... Just above. Okay, grasshopper die please. Wait, I have... Achha, I am making a mistake. I need to keep holding R2 again and again. Sorry folks. Oi! There is a new enemy here. New boss or something. Let's get him first time. Okay, I'm low on health. Oh, what is this? Oh. oh, he ran away. Awesome. Oh, this guy is dying. You yoga is cheap. What did he give me? Oh, don't fall on me. He gave me nothing. Sucks. Whatever he is, is dead. Okay, so have to hold on to his... Have to press X again and again to hold on to him. 
the grasshopper I mean come on grasshopper where did you where you at grasshopper Okay, this time not gonna fail. Mm -hmm. Something I'm doing wrong. Hundred percent. Figure out the grasshopper later. First, let's get the other bosses. This is something. Yeah, this is definitely. Hey, poison tea. is my damage gold thread again okay mind go again now that poison chief is dead get me back on my cloud okay what's over there Okay, grasshopper. Nah, I'm not dealing with the grasshopper right now. Although I am out of mana, maybe I should look for a shrine. Is there a shrine here somewhere? Something going on or what? Probably gonna die here, but let's check out this golden tree in the middle of everything. Are go down, Dumbo? I can hear a shrine. Yay, hear a shrine. Nice.
Okay, rested at the shrine. Now let's get on our. What's next time looking for, by the way? Oh, yeah. somewhere else now I am going to deal with one more boss anyway, that is all we are doing here by the way just dealing with bosses and he is right over here oh no 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 I am going to fall oh I did not fall to my death by the way Main problem with this guy is it turns to stone, so for now, save your spells. Take a few minutes to, you know, get out of this stone transformation. That is when we are going to be able to kill him. There you go, he's out of his transformation, now use everything on him. Oh, his grab attack as well. Okay, seriously, again with the stone. Take rocks with barefoot. Idiot Baba. Oh, celestial burst from fragment. That is a curio. If I ever saw one. This guy was tougher than I expected him to be. So now I am going to go and use my talisman so I can rest up. I have no mana. Okay, <clears throat> rested up. Let's get one more boss, I believe. This is the final boss that will help me 
in my oh there's a grasshopper again not focusing on the grasshopper for now are going to do this guy Combo jumps around the lot. Did he just fart on me? Looks like he just farted on me. Nice part. Hold him there, hold him there, hold him there. You need to pick it back. Okay, he'll be dead pretty soon. Die bro, enough out of you. Seriously! Finally! Going underwater, dumb clown. Okay, gotta rest up again. Hang on, let's not, let's just use my telescope. Alrighty, now I am in the mood to go and kill the grasshopper and also show you the guide to the grasshopper. So we are just going to come over here and wait here because this is where he spawns. And you can hear him, I think he's close by. There he is, he's gonna jump over here in a second. There you go. Now also for this fight, just make sure you have the fireproof mantle equipped. And then I guess we just keep pressing R2. This clutch. Now we have to keep R2 held. This one. Keep it held. Jump number two. Let's keep it held for jump number three. There you go, we stuck on him. Now that part is done. Now we are going to burn him, but before that, make sure. Oh crap, I was supposed to. With my fireproof mantle. I did not. I think he's going to burn me. Yeah. 
Oh, he did not. I had enough health for him. To be on the safer side, just equip your fireproof mantle before getting on top of him. Like, for the second time. So this is it guys. Burn the stealers. And he's done. We get one more armor piece. Yay! I think we are gonna start talking pretty soon now. Silly strands, you're all the more like Wukong. Just don't prance around with your might as he did. That monkey's got a stash of treasures. I'll scout around some more. <laughs> I don't think this is good scouting anything. No, he's going to be using the grasshopper now. Okay, two pieces of armor, headgear, splendid, splendid. What does it do by the way? Let me just check. For a short after casting, it's a model critical hit chance. Upon uh, critical hit, will cool down for all spells. Okay. Uh, ding, 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 mythical, legendary, it is already mythical, okay. Alrighty folks, now with that grass hopping boss done, let's go and do another boss which I know is super annoying actually. And it will be a pain in our butt. The main problem with this boss is that he does tons of damage, he has tons of health. It's not a particularly tough boss or anything, it's just annoying in the sense that the window of attacking him is very short and it's very irritating actually. And uh, this boss actually you can, I think you can fight him anytime. Like you see that cave right there, that is the cave that you go for. That is a point of reference and from that cave just turn around for this boss. Now one thing I would like to tell you for this boss is when you go into the boss fights, Make sure you are as close to the ground as possible, like be actually be on the ground because when you get close to him, he's going to make you fall down and once he makes you fall down, like you will take the fall damage as you guys know. Make sure you are all the way down, you see that is the boss right there in the middle. Just keep going down, 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 as down as possible because he is going to make us fall down here, see there. Did not take fall damage, we are lucky. Now, the trick for this guy is to stay in his range. He storms you, so sometimes even one or two or of his hits can pretty much kill you. Best thing is to stay in his range and make sure that he is stomping on you. Don't get too close, stay just in his range. Whenever he swipes like that, back away. We don't want to have anything to do with his swipe. If he's stomping, we might be interested, but no. Stay out of his swipe. And locking on to him is also an issue, but hey, what can you do? Now this one we can work with. See, when he storms, come here, smash his pistol. I always try to smash the brick crystal. These are the crystals you need to smash. And like, I think he's going to... Pulling rocks from behind us so that they smash us. Uh huh. I dodged the shock wave. Nice. Mm. Oh crap, I take that. A lot out of me. Oh. Come on bro, stomp me. Stomp me. Mm. 
Oh, oh crap, I stayed. This may be a long stomp. And he stomps it, smacks it twice. Okay. Not enough. Do one more stomp, please. Now he's definitely stunned for 30 seconds. We use this time. Oh come on, hurry up bro. There you go, almost out. No, I got all this stuff. Okay, now watch out for these storms. Okay, now his hand is down. We have to climb up. I'm just gonna heal up still. This will give you the final skanda, people. And I think this will give, lead us to a trophy. Another trophy, I think. Uh, just keep running on him. Running on him. Hey, do you see him again? <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, he pulled out his eye. Oh, he gave it us first. Ah, oh, the monkey wanted to burn, so then he realized, hey, Wukong is here, so. Man, now the monkey's is understand. Oh! And the mountain is collapsing. Oh, Skanda of Consciousness. That is the final Skanda, people. This will lead to another pill. And I think we'll get the pill, the trophy for getting all the pills. Not sure, but probably yes. I'm just gonna roam around this, circle around this area for a second to see if there is anything worth Yeah, invisible walls, so nothing here Okay, now I'm not going to fly all the way back Let me use my talisman And then we can uh, Get a trophy, hopefully Alright, back at Rhino Watch step and we travel to the Ruiz Crawl village entrance. Oh, come over here, talk to Zoo Dog. May Lord Lao illuminate your path, brave one. Okay, first request my discipline and then show him the first number. But be wiser than relying solely on them. Yeah. How astounding it is! The five scanders are but abstract notions. 
Yet you have made them tangible. Might I be permitted to make something with them? Oh, yeah, make the the secrets of sky and earth, and thou shalt have pills. <laughs> A wondrous marvel of the universe. <laughs> the five skanda pill. Yep, medicine meal trophy. Told you will get it. Increases multiple attributes. So this is going to increase everything. Awesome. So that's it. Now we head back to the mountain. All right, back at our Rhino Watch slope. Now let's get the other phosphates. One is where the lightning is striking. We go there. We are going to fight someone there. We fought a Rhino, fought a Grasshopper, fought a Hippopotamus. Got lots of snake and those sort of stuff already. Oh, a deer with the eagle. Head? Or is it a stag? Oh man, frost! This one's gonna do frost damage. Cloud trading deer. I love friends from behind us. No, he does not have a lot of health now, does he? Don't die now. I have him dead almost. Wait, is this guy going into phase two? Oh crap! Tastic is going into phase two. Not is he doing oh, violent damage now? Nice time for you to show up, bro. Cloud trading, dear. 
This will give me another armor piece, right? Step away. This time, the glory's mine. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're gonna get our creeps. I'm in fine. With you monkeys around, I'm always toiling away for nothing. <sighs> Kid, when you step up one day. Try not to forget your uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. <sighs> now we're done here. Time to move on. Okay, so that's done. Lotus Silk Out Traders, splendid, splendid as always. Get on our, what do you say? Cloud, wait, what does my health look like? I think I need to recharge my health, right? Let me dismount and check before I do anything else. Oh no, no, everything is full up. Okay then. So now you remember the golden tree where we have been resting for a while. That tree will now have a boss fight. That is story based. That boss fight happens only when you have killed all the other chiefs. These, uh, like when you have gotten all the other armor pieces. Then the final one is there which is, I don't know, maybe a mantis? We are supposed to face yeah, two insects and two animals. Uh, three animals, right? Oh. I don't know, I have to choose. But yeah, insects and animals and bugs, whatever you say. Don't used to fight that guy. Go to the golden tree here. There's a cutscene that triggers, which is why I did not fast travel to this place. So now when we get here, you see? Here. Once you've killed everyone, you get a cutscene when you get here. What the? Oh man, I'm gonna be fighting him inside this guy. Oh. Emerald Armed Mantis So definitely this Mantis is going to give us the arms that we are looking for Okay got his health down Don't let my minions go
die, bro. Nee, die, bro. Hmm, this will give us the arm guards. Oh, don't come out of the wrong end, bro. Is it? I'm not a meat eater after all. <laughs> I hope it didn't repulse you. Well, you fetched it. It wasn't all that bad, eh? <laughs> now that Wukong's armor set is complete, we should go to Water Curtain Cave. Come with me. Okay, we need to go to Water Curtain Cave. We have the complete loom armor and let me check what the benefits are for having this armor actually. We generate another gold tree core, another mind core and some more stuff I mean. Anything else I got? Uh, portrait updated whatever. Let me check. So this armor, the... oh there are 5 pieces actually. For a short duration after casting a spell, moderately increase critical hit. Critical hit slides to this cooldown for all spell. Hey. Hey. I think this is by far the best armor. No, bulking is better, man. For defense. But crunch tenacity when health is below half. I like this. I like this better than the Wukong armor, actually. You see, bulking suppressor. And don't have the bulking that, but I can have bulking mask. Temporarily grants moderate defense. Don't think I can. Uh, let me rest up. Now I don't think I can move forward in the story with this armor that I have equipped but let's see if it lets me fight with the bull king set I will really really appreciate it one more set for this armor the one I have equipped and that is going to be the final one that I think is going to be a weapon whatever Ooh, for that we need to come all the way over here this cave is the one we need to get to And you will automatically get off from your mount over this. Then here. I think we need to go up top. Right? Or do I need to do something else? Oh, I can just jump across it. Hey, could I jump across it any which way? I don't know. Anywho. Let's get to the next shrine, which I'm pretty sure there will be one here. And rest up. Come on, shiny shrine. Come on, shiny shrine shrine. Don't put me in another boss fight, man. Just give me a shrine. Before you put me in another boss fight, just give me a shrine. Like, that is a very... Looks like I am in another boss fight.
where do you come from? Outsider. <laughs> In my realm, all monkeys are of similar face and shape. Your face speaks of a different breed, and an ugly one. <laughs> you must be a Yao Guai from another land. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ventured here since that journey. Nothing's changed after so many years. So oh, that is the staff. That whole pillar is the staff. <laughs> he said this and told me to kneel. <laughs> right here on this seat. Ah, here it is. I knew it. Wukong is tight-fisted. Even Guan Yin agrees so. He kept it here so it could be passed down to another one of his kind. He now told you the whole pillar is from a kid. This will complete the set and also will this be all weapon trophy? I'm not sure, let me check. Once you have this, there's no turning back. <laughs> now, you look exactly like Wukong. You're all set, kid. You look like a fierce warrior. Come with me. Let's find out what that old monkey is up to. Jingle Bang. And yep, we got Guardian of Gear trophy. What is that for Wukong? Yeah. Or whatever. So we definitely have all the Wukong gear. And okay, this stuff looks cool. So I think once you go through here, you will it will lead us to a shrine and after that it's just the endings and the end boss stuff we need to do. So gonna find the next shrine and gonna rest up and yep, there it is. That will be the end of this particular stream people because as I said the ending will be another stream which will show you the main ending and the final ending, the secret ending as well. So both endings will be my next stream. For now, let's just rest up. And I'll also check over my weapon if anything I missed because I did not get the weapon trophy. Maybe the final boss drop something or any, something like that. But anyway, so this is it folks. This uh, brings us to the end of part 11 of our Black Myth Wukong Platinum walkthrough. 
as always it has been a great pleasure making this i walk through for you i had a lot of fun making this one we have gotten almost all the collectibles and missables in this game part 1 or 2 like spare one or two of them which we do have to play new game plus so we will be doing them anyway so yeah using swelling up as we are ending the stream so once again thank you so very much for tuning in please please do remember to like share and subscribe share your feedback in the comment section and as elvo sorry bad guy interrupted me broke my flow you stupid dumb sorry anyway thank you so very much for tuning in do remember to like share and subscribe please please do share your feedback in the comment section is really important for me and as always wherever you are whatever you're doing stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus signing off